Greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, so you can tell that from what you, my voice. I'm I'm still trying to get to feel I'm better. I'm a little bit better, but not still not quite hundred percent. But anyway, enough about that. I'm about to give you my schedule for March. Now there's gonna be lots of stuff I'm gonna do. Now I spotlighted some good stuff last month. Now last month I focused on A Star is Born, doing all four movies of that, as well as the Rocky franchise. So now this month you're gonna expect four, that's right, four big movie franchises. Now three of these are gonna be part of my official <clears throat> Big D's Month of Green. Now Starting off later tonight, I'm going to start the Shrek series. Now, although I've been reading that they're possibly going to bring them back again, but I don't know when just yet. I'm going to be reviewing the original Shrek later on tonight. And then tomorrow I'll go on with Shrek 2 and Shrek the 3rd. Which I'm going to try and keep those at separate times so that way I can have them up at good times. I might have the Shrek 2... Review premiere <coughs> since I'm gonna be at work and now put the Shrek the then the Shrek the third review will be put up automatically by me later on. All right. On the third, I'll be doing Shrek Forever after finishing that series up. Then on the fourth will be my review of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from 1990. That's right. I'm gonna be reviewing all the Ninja Turtles movies now, even though I've already reviewed. <coughs> The anime movie Batman vs. Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles, but that's another story. But I'm going to be re reviewing the New Line Cinema movies as TMNT 2 The Secret of the Ooze will come up on the 5th. And the not so good third movie on the 6th, along with the 2007 animated feature. Now, on the 7th, my month, my special edition to Month of Green will be. Uh, Hulk. Now, though I've already reviewed the Incredible Hulk last year, I'm going to review the first Hulk movie with Eric Bannon. And then on the 8th, I'll be back with Ninja Turtles when I review both the Paramount movies uh, that Michael Bay produced. Now, also, during that week, I'm... Because I only left seven for just Hulk, because I'm pro... I hope to go to the theaters... Uh, next weekend, see the new Disney Pixar anime feature Onward. So I thought you all know that. And review it on that day. Now, um, now then after I do Turtles, on the 9th, I'll be starting, finishing off my month of green. Well, uh, sort of. With the Leprechaun franchise. On the 9th, I'll be doing the original. Leprechaun 2 on the 10th. Leprechaun 3 on the 11th. Leprechaun 4 in space on the 12th. On the 13th, I'll take a slight break and do a special Friday the 13th ranking, which will be on the final girls of the series. And also, I will review the Christian family movie, I Can Only Imagine, in order to promote the release of, I still believe, the story of Jeremy Camp. Now, of course, you know I Can Only Imagine about the frontman of the group, Mercy Me, which I, you, you will get a review of. I still believe if I go see it. But I do have other movies in the way of that. Like um, the new Vin Diesel movie. Bloodshot. I really would like to see that. There's some other movies coming up to that week. So just wait and see when I get a chance. On the 14th. I will go on with doing a back to back review. Of both Leprechaun Hood flicks. In the Hood and Back to the Hood. <coughs> and on the 15th. I'll do Leprechaun Origins. And then after a hiatus, I'm bring I'm gonna do a TV log when I talk about Mr. Belvedere, which on the 15th of this month the show will be celebrating its 35th anniversary, and I'm gonna talk about that show. And then on the 16th, the next the day before St. Patty's Day, I will finish with the Leprechaun series with Leprechaun Returns. Now, although I kind of didn't squeeze this in, I may be squeezing in um, a ranking, which I'll possibly do later on. I'm sure I will do that. 
Then on St. Patty's Day, I will review my final green flick. And that will be the Disney movie Darby O'Gill and the Little People. I need to rewatch it. I haven't watched it a whole lot, but I need to rewatch it. And that's what I'm going to do. It's easily a very underrated movie. So, look forward to that. But however, after that, things are going to get a wee bit unlucky. When, uh, when that same day, I will review the... The original Final Destination, because on St. Patty's Day, this is the the 20th anniversary of the Final, Desti uh, Final Destination. Then after that, I will continue on with the rest. Final Destination 2 will be on the 18th, and Final Destination 3 will be on the 19th. And then I'll do the Final Destination and Final Destination 5 on the 20th. Now, of course, I will have a, the Final Destination make a premiere. And why have you now on the 21st? Since that's all lined up for that, <coughs> excuse me, I will do a special re review of A Quiet Place in order to promote A Quiet Place Part 2. Don't know if I'm gonna see it though, but we'll see. So I'm gonna try and re review that, make a full review since I did a quickie review of it. On the 22nd, I will review. Orphan. Now, if you didn't see my February pickups recently, um, I'll leave that as one of the vids you can check out once you watch this. I'll be reviewing that. Now, I managed to get some last minute entries on board. On the 23rd, I'll review. Now, I'll be reviewing three more, un three other underrated movies. On the 23rd, I'll review the A's Teen Comedy Hard Bodies. Yeah, since it's springtime. And it's Spring Break. Guess what? That's my next movie. On the 24th, I'll review Spring Break, another 80s teen comedy directed by Sean Cunningham. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Sean Cunningham who directed Friday the 13th. On the 25th, now, I was going to do in the summer, or, well, actually, that was my second choice, now, or I could have done it last month, but I just had to change the plan, well, because I got sick and all. But I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm going to review Aquamarine. I'm surprised there's not many reviews of that movie yet. Well, that's going to change. I'm going to review this. On the 27th... <clears throat> In order to promote the live-action Mulan, I'm going to review the original anime one. Now, I'm going to say to my friend Levi McNally, please don't get mad at me. I I might give the live-action Mulan a shot since it got PG-13 rating unlike the other ones. I still wish they would Disney would stop doing live-action remakes of their anime flicks. But I think this one might have a little potential since this is the first time a, mo a Disney movie outside, aside from Pirates of the Caribbean to get a PG-13 rating. So, enough said. Uh, <clears throat> now, now I said I might do a Leprechaun franchise review on the 16th. So, we'll see about that. And I may do a Shrek and Ninja Turtles franchise as well. Well... Um, ranking as well. I'll probably do that at some point from the from what I'm seeing. So if I got enough room, I can squeeze those in. But just stay tuned and find out. But that's all I've got for for March and what have you. Now there's lots of other movies coming up. But anyway, that's about it. That's all I can tell you for what I'm going to do for the month of March. Let me know what you thought about what I'm going, what I plan to do in the com what do you think of this? Tell me in the comment section. Like and subscribe to my channel as well. And be a part of the Big D Nation. Anyway, stay tuned for my review of Shrek coming up later on tonight. Oh, one more thing. I forgot one more thing I'm going to mention. On the very last day of this month, to celebrate the one year anniversary of my first video, my introduction, I'm going to do a very special video. Now, since my Good Burger review came up yesterday, <clears throat> my friend Hobbs Horror actually was knew I was going to do an impression of Cal Mitchell's Ed. Well, I'm finally going to take my time to do this. I'm going to do a view of all the voices I can do from almost anyone. Not just movie stars, but characters from cartoons and what have you. Seriously, I can do all sorts of voices. As best as I can, anyway. But anyway, that's going to do it. 
Thank you very much for watching. Now, if you liked what you saw, you can check out these other Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. There will be some bonus reviews coming up. I don't know when I'm going to put them up. Now, I just saw the new Netflix young adult novel-based movie, All the Bright Places with Elle Fanning and Justice Smith, which that wasn't too bad. And another, I just saw this yesterday, and that would be the new anime movie, My Hero Academia, Heroes Rise. Uh, yeah, um, I'm finally, I finally took the time to watch the series last night on Adult Swim. So, possibly look for a review of that. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching again. Now, if you liked what you saw, you can check out my last two vids. Just my last two. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of Good Burger. And in the upper right-hand corner is my review... Well, not review. I... Is my February pickups not a review? My mistake, everyone. I get carried away. My apologies. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe for more with more of the Big D. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.